Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build an old-fashioned country store. And I'm also trying a new video format, so let me know if you like it or if you'd rather I go back to the old way of doing it. Basically, I'm speeding up the video a little bit and then talking over it, so let me know how you like that. Anyway, let's get started. So today, here we are going to build with the barn tab and I'm just going to lay down some foundations and this is basically going to be a two by three structure um, with a little side a one by two side uh, lean to sort of thing and get a couple windows on here maybe like if you want this to turn out exactly like mine then you put the windows in the same places that I'm putting them. And um, this side over here is going to be a little lean-to. It's going to be sort of like a side room. So lower. So we're going to use the half size walls for this. And then of course the, the leaning parts. <laughs> and then we're going to have a false front. Like the old-fashioned, you know, Old West type stores, they have a false front sticking up. Now for the roof, and for the roof I'm going to use the kind that have the rafter brace things in the middle. But on this side I'm going to use the regular uh, ones without those. And there we go, the basic structure. Oh, first gotta put in the little filler things. <laughs> the other side doesn't need them because the false front build it in. All right. Now we are going to be putting on a front porch. And so for this, I'm going to be adding a prefab to the front. And to do that, I'm just I'm lining up this guide so I can snap the prefab in exactly where I want it. I suppose you could line the prefab up too. Um, I just found this was easier, but you know, you can do it however you want. <laughs> so two prefabs with the slanted ceilings facing each other. I mean, facing the, with the tall side against the building. And some stairs, of course, gotta get up there. <laughs> and now let's put in some decor inside. So this is going to be a general trading post, or like a, um, yeah, a trading post. So just lining up the uh, the store shop thingy. And now some shelves. And I'll, I'm just going to use these regular store shelves. You of course can use whatever shelves you want to use. And I'm only going to put two because, well, let's face it, you got to fill them with stuff if you're going to have shelves, right? So I don't want to have like an entire wall of shelves that I got to fill. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Got to get them straight, though. Got to get them straight. They're not straight yet. They're not straight yet. No, it doesn't want to go straight. Oh, they're not quite lined up now. Mm, there we go. All right, then over here, just another little shelf to fill this wall up with. And now to fill in the back end of the store, I'm just going to put a bunch of crates and boxes and chests and stuff like that. Maybe these are for sale, maybe they have goods inside them, you know, whatever. It's just something to fill up the space and it's something to make it look like there's a lot of merchandise in the store without me having to actually put a ton of stuff on the shelves all the way around the room. And sorry it's so dark in here. Um, it is daylight out and I just don't have any electricity in there, and so it's a little bit dark, so sorry about that. hope it's not too dark on YouTube. On my <clears throat> uh, video, as I'm editing it, it's not too dark to see, but sometimes YouTube darkens things, 
when it renders to YouTube, and so I'm, I apologize if that is the case this time as well. This I'm going to have to rug glitch in. Just a bunch of crates and barrels make it look like there's, I don't know, barrels of wheat and, or, you know, flour and sugar and whatever back there, pe things that people would sell in bulk. It took me a little bit to find a good spot where uh, the rug would stick. There we go. If it doesn't stick the first time, just reposition it and try it in a different place. These barrels are really difficult. Oh, sticking out the back. We gotta fix that. <laughs> Check again. Yeah, still sticking out a little bit. And that should do it. Hopefully. Hell yeah. And now let's move the ice box over so they're not clipping into each other. There we go. All right. Now, a few other little things just around the room. Let's see an ashtray, or not an ashtray, a cigarette machine. It can sell cigarettes here. And hmm, let's see. Yes, we need some lighting on the walls. I'm, I'm decided to use since this is sort of an old-fashioned country store, I decided to use just candlelight inside here and nothing else. Some lanterns and candles and that's it. And now for some signs, everybody. Gotta put all kinds of stuff on the walls to make it look like this store has been here forever and they do all kinds of stuff. They sell pretty much everything, yeah? So when you're decorating, make sure that you put just, like when you do a store like this, just put signs everywhere. Whatever you can think of, and even paintings, you know? They just hung stuff everywhere. And it makes, it really makes it look just that much more interesting when you just have signs and stuff on the walls and stuff sitting around. It really helps to make it look lived in and used. And a clock, of course. <laughs> and let's see. Need something down there. Um, where is it? Where is it? I know. I'll find it here in a minute. What am I looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, another sign. Or art. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. And now we need to put some stuff on top of the counter, the cash registers. Now, if you want to know how to do this, I do have a video on how to do this. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you would like to know how to put items on top of the shop counters. Because you can't just set items on top of shop counters. They don't, they don't go in. And some more clutter in the corner. A few fishing type things and stuff like that. So see, I'm basically decorating most of the store with stuff in the build menu and only having one line of shelves to put uh, actual junk on. And just a little bit, a little, some touches outside, um, some oil lamp, lamp lamps, um, and what am I looking for here? I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> There we go. Fish racks. You know, just, they sell everything at this store. So they got some fish drying on racks out on the porch. Yeah. There we go. And I probably thought of something else to put in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got to, uh, decorate the inside of this guy's house. So this guy, so the store guy lives in the little lean-to on the side. So we need to put a stove in here for him and a table. Yeah, get a chair. Looks like I'm well, running out of cloth. Of course I am. <laughs> so let's find a chair that doesn't use cloth like the folder chair. And now a bed. Hmm, this bed uses 
Oh, I have just enough cloth to make one bed, but for some reason I can't make those other beds. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, and now just a few other pieces of furniture to, to finish it off. He needs uh, a dresser. And definitely needs a, an end table next to the bed. Um, let me see. One of those little, little end tables, those tiny ones. There it is. There we go. All right, let's go do some stuff outside again. So, using the Nuka World tab, I'm going to put the hitching post out here because, you know, an old fashioned country store needs a hitching post because, you know, people can, I don't know, ride their Brahmins up here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, gotta have doors. Gotta have doors on there. Let's put a screen door on here. There we go. See? <clears throat> Yay! Starting to look nice, isn't it? And, oh, I gotta put a lantern. There wasn't enough light inside. It started to get dark, and I was like, oh, it's too dark in here. <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do is decorate with junk. And, of course, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm doing this. this I'm, I make this video before mods have come out on PS4, and so there's no other way for us PS4 users to decorate as of the making of this video. And so if you do have access to mods, either on PS4 you know, later or on whatever other platforms you're using, um, you know, feel free to decorate with mods if you want. But this is me decorating without mods. And of course, it took me a lot longer to do it than, than it appears because I edited it down. But it, well, it didn't take too long. Maybe an hour. Maybe it took me an hour to put all this on there. I'm really good at it though. I've, I've had tons and tons and tons of practice. So I can do this pretty quickly. I'm trying to sort of generally put everything in particular departments or categories, I suppose. Not, it's not like strict or anything, but I like to put um, similar items together. It just makes it look a little tidier. And a few little things here and there. Put some Nuka Colas on top of the counter. I'm not going to put anything in the counter right now because this is just for the video and there's such a glare on the glass that you can't really tell anyway. A few more items here and there. Just a few. Don't forget a pillow on the bed. I'm not like filling this shelf up because I'm actually running out of items that I had with me. A few shopping baskets. And now let's just do a few more touches outside. Decorations outside. A few things hanging up. Because why not? We have them. Let's use them, right? <laughs> A little bit on the side there. And there we have it, everybody. I would say it's done. And here is the final tour. Let me know what you guys think of this old-fashioned country store. I think it turned out really nice. I really like it. And also let me know what you think of this new video format. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Should I do more like this? I'm thinking I would only do my one-shot builds this way, not my makeup build projects. I would still do those the same old way I've been doing them, but my one-shot builds, my quick ones, like just building one thing, um, I'm thinking probably maybe do them this way, but if you guys don't like it, I totally understand and I would totally not mind uh, going back to the old way of doing it where I do it all normal speed and talk during 
while I'm building it. So just let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it, a, give it a like if you do. Until next time, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.